This is a warning for this part and the last part of this series. There is some cowboy shit that goes on in these two episodes. Do not try and recreate anything that you see us do unless you are extremely qualified and professionals just like us. Welcome to another episode of Build by Blake. I am Blake of which the builds are built. This is part two of our three part series of swapping a six speed into your legacy wagon, Liberty wagon, whatever you've got, most Subarus, this will be somewhat similar. I'm sure you can take some information from this vid. Um, if you haven't watched part one and you are doing this process, go watch it because this is not gonna make any sense if you are going through this. Uh, in this episode, we prep the new box for installation, which has a little few tips and tricks that are handy to know while the box is out of the car. Um, we, uh, we prep the new box for installation. We install our new R180 STI rear diff. And then we install our new clutch, which is our Mantic clutch, which you would have seen in my unboxing video a couple of videos ago. So um, this should be a good one. Let's jump into it. Here you go. As yours, uh, yep. Oh, I got it. Yep. And like, I mean, really, you can use the jack the right way. How to take a gearbox out of the car on your garage floor. Step one, get everybody you know. Step two, get a <laughs> buy a hoist. <laughs> Step three, just rip it out and um, go from there. Jack it up a little bit. I just need to get my arm out. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all yeah, the way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. You push as much as I pull. Yeah. One, yeah. two, three. Four. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, just put a bit more oil on the ground. That's fine. No drop there. That was good. We fucking did it. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> so the shit thing is, you'll put one back in. The STI one's like 60 kilos heavier than that. So, if you ever change a gearbox on your garage floor, they say to bring a couple friends. I didn't have a couple, so I just brought one that was the size of two.
That's the old switch there. It it kind of works, but you got to hold it in the right spot. And then this is the. every time. So that's exactly why you would change this now while it's outside of the car.
right, so the R180 rear diff is in. The new box is prepped, cleaned, and ready to go. Uh, and we are looking good. The clutch is sorted. Uh, this isn't actually, there's not a whole lot of technical stuff in that particular part of the thing. It's just, the, seriously, the hardest part is manning up and telling yourself that you're about to cop 150 kilo transmission on your chest and just deal with it. Like a man. <clears throat> because that's honestly terrifying. Because at that point, when you drop that transmission out and you can see straight up through your engine bay, that's the point of no return. But well worth it. Um, on the next episode, hold that thought. On the next episode, uh, we put the new gearbox in and offer it up to the car. Uh, that was the that was the hardest part of this whole thing, and it was purely because we did it on a garage floor. This garage floor, actually, right here. It was about six hours of laying on your back, just trying to get two inches of depth. Life story. Anyway, part two done. Part three incoming next week. If this helped you out, give it a like. If you need more context on something or you just want a bit more info, swing me a message. I'm more than happy to help. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Tune in next week and we can get some, baby. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Since you shut the door on